What up, everybody? It's your boy, Merk Black, and today we're going to be talking about how to get white girls if you're Indian. Where I'm from in Surrey, BC, brown guys get more white girls than white guys do, so I think I'm pretty qualified to speak on the subject. This guy won't work if you're shorter than 5'6". I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's not likely, and I've never seen it myself, and I don't want to get your hopes up falsely. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you're a dipper jeet, ender pre, fresh out the boat, so that it has the widest reach and applicability. The first thing you need to do is lose your accent. Unfortunately, the Desi accent's not really sexy in the Western world. You'll naturally lose it over time as you spend more time in whatever country you immigrated to. But if you want to speed things up, then you should go to a speech therapist and get that checked up. The second thing you need to do is use less spice in your cooking. I don't know why, but like, no matter how much you clean up after yourself and no matter how good hygiene you have, if you use too many spices, the shit like seeps into your sweat and you still have that stench. I'm lucky in that I don't really like spicy food or Indian food that much. But if you love Indian food, then try to at least lower the amount of spices if you can and outright get rid of it. And buy some expensive cologne and get good deodorant. The third thing you need to do is maintain some distance with your parents. Their parents will hold you down and they work really hard for their kids. But unfortunately, they'll try to raise you to be a beta because it worked for them in their old school culture. You don't have to rebel or hate them or anything or treat them like shit. Just maintain positive relations with them, but at the same time, have your own life outside of them and keep the two lives separate. Avoid getting arranged married. Don't think that because you're a doctor, lawyer, or engineer, all your problems will be solved. And keep in mind that what worked for your parents' generation won't work for you. Fourth tip is to stay away from the Desi community's bullshit. Unfortunately, it's plagued with pettiness, gossip, and lots of other toxicity, including a crabs in the bucket mentality and a tendency to backstab each other. This doesn't mean that you have to become self-hating or white worshipping or anything. It just means that you don't have to care what the Desi community thinks of you and you should maintain your own identity. The fifth thing you need to do is avoid Desi women when you're hitting on white girls. I don't know why, but Desi women will cock block you way more than anyone else will. And in my experience, it's just not worth it to deal with. You don't have to get into conflict with them. You don't have to argue with them. You don't have to do anything. Just ignore them and avoid them. The sixth thing you need to do is to understand that white girls are not a mom. There's country white girls, city white girls, nerdy white girls, artsy white girls, etc. So don't go around saying that you prefer white girls. Because people just assume you're an ignorant type shit. And... Tailor your game to the particular type of white girl that you're going for at that moment. The seventh thing you need to do is work out and also do a combat sport. Working out's not just for muscles, it's also to build discipline and to understand the benefits of delayed gratification. The best exercises to do are the compound exercises, namely the bench press, the deadlift, the squat, the barbell row, and the overhead press. For your diet, it's really easy. The only two things you need to track are your calories and the amount of protein you're getting. If you're bulking up, then bulk up with 500 calorie surplus. And if you're cutting, then a 500 calorie deficit. This is so that you don't gain too much fat when you bulk and you don't lose too much muscle when you cut. In terms of protein, you want to make sure that you get a gram of protein per pound of body weight, no matter what you're doing. On top of weightlifting and dieting, you should also do a combat sport just so that you know how to defend yourself and you're in touch with your inner masculine. In general, the only five combat sports you should consider are boxing, Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, and Judo. Pick the one that you have the most fun with. If you're looking to look at what's most effective, it's kind of debated. The best combos in my opinion are wrestling and boxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. If you don't have the time to cross chain, in my opinion, the best start to learn is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but you can't go wrong with any of the five that I mentioned. My eighth tip is to have a creative hobby, just so that you're more well-rounded and you have a creative outlet. You don't have to be world-class or anything, just be decent at it and have fun while you're doing it. Some hobbies that I've seen this is successfully incorporate are rapping, photography, and playing the guitar. But you can pick anything as long as you enjoy it and are genuinely passionate about it. The ninth tip is to have an abundance mentality. There's plenty of fish in the sea and you don't want to come off as desperate or needy. 
Don't fall in love with the first white girl that shows a bit of interest in you. And after you get a girl, stay stoic and don't assume that her attraction will stay no matter what. You'll naturally build up an abundance mindset as you gain more experience. But when you're starting out, the best way to have an abundance mindset is to have high self-esteem and enjoy your own company. If you're insecure and have low self-esteem, keep in mind that esteemable people do esteemable things. You'll naturally gain confidence as you build yourself up. And the best way to do so is to stay disciplined, stay stoic, and stay on your grind. The 10th tip is to work on your inner game. And I don't mean bullshit pickup lines or pickup artists shortcuts. I'm talking about your inner frame of mind and how you carry yourself. It's not really something I can teach you. It's more something that comes naturally as you hone your inner alpha and you do the right things for enough time. Don't worry about trying to be a chat and whatnot. Just focus on trying to be the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. As corny as that sounds. And try to have fun while you're doing so. It'll make it a lot easier to stick to your routine. That's pretty much all I've got. I hope you guys can utilize these 10 tips to see some improvements in your life if you're struggling. But since the video goes on for a few more minutes, I'm going to get into some miscellaneous stuff. Regarding style and grooming, the fit is way more important than the brand name and whatnot. And a buff guy in a hundred dollar suit's gonna look way better than a fat ass in a five thousand dollar suit. Keep that in mind. For haircuts, the faux hawk is the best one that I've seen for brown guys. And also the bus cut where you shave the sides and back and trim the top a bit. Regarding drugs and alcohol, if you guys don't drink, you probably should. Because a white girl's not going to drink with you if you're not drinking yourself. And I don't mean to peer pressure you or anything, but if you look at studies, something like 98% of hookups involve alcohol. Just keep in mind that alcohol is really high calorie. It's something like 7 calories per gram. And also, it's really estrogenic and will fuck up your weightlifting routine. So there's definitely a balance and... It's the reason why I prefer smoking weed to alcohol. And also, you don't get a hangover on weed, so yeah. And I don't mean to peer pressure you guys again, but two other drugs that I try are Molly and Coke. Sex on Molly is mind-blowingly good, same with Coke. Just don't get addicted to them and don't fry your brains doing them like every other week and whatnot. And you should keep in mind that a lot of dealers lace them with meth and a lot of other random shit. So make sure you have proper testing kits too. That's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to cover and I think I went over everything pretty well. If you guys think that I glossed over anything or need clarification or anything, then please comment your questions down below. Please leave a like and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.